Liberty Science Center is an interactive science museum and learning center located in Liberty State Park in Jersey City in Hudson County, New Jersey, United States. The center, which first opened in 1993 as New Jersey's first major state science museum, has science exhibits, the largest and most technologically advanced planetarium in the Western Hemisphere, numerous educational resources, and the original Hoberman Sphere, a silver, computer-driven engineering artwork designed by Chuck Hoberman. History Liberty Science Center completed a 22-month, $109 million expansion and renewal project on July 19, 2007. The expansion added 100,000 square feet square meters to the facility, bringing it to nearly 300,000 square feet square meters. However, the amount of exhibit space slightly decreased with the expansion as all the new space added is open space such as queue lines. In December 2017, the Science Center opened the Jennifer Chalstey Planetarium, a 400-seat facility with a dome 100 feet 30 meters in diameter and an 89-foot diameter screen, named for the benefactor who contributed $5 million towards the cost of construction. Larger than New York City's Hayden Planetarium, at its opening it was the largest such planetarium in the Western Hemisphere and the world's fourth largest. Exhibits <laughs> 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 Liberty Science Center's permanent exhibitions include Skyscraper Achievement and Impact, the largest exhibition on the subject of skyscrapers in the world, with artifacts from the World Trade Center, a walk along an I-beam two stories above the exhibition floor, an earthquake shake table, and a glass Schindler 400A mid-rise traction elevator, which is open to show how the elevator moves, the machine room, and the pit. Eat and Be Eaten, this exhibit of unusual live animals explores the predator-prey relationship, including vipers, puffer fish, cotton-top tamarins, brilliantly colored poison dart frogs, eusocial naked mole rats and fungus culturing, leaf-cutter ants. Communication explores human communication in four areas body and language, symbols, signs, and writing, print, audio, and video, and signals and networks. Here guests can also do language karaoke, where they are taught to say phrases in Mandarin Chinese, Arabic, Spanish, and Cockney. Infection Connection – helps guests understand how individual actions may affect global health issues. Guests may ride the IC Express, which shows a film about different types of infectious diseases. I Explore, an age-restricted area, where guests under age 6 and their caregivers can explore aspects of the world around them through water play, a microscope, a lucky climber climbing structure, a streetscape, and a rock xylophone, made from hanging rocks that ring like bells when struck. Our Hudson Home – teaches guests about the wildlife and ecology of the Hudson River. It includes an observation deck with great views of the Hudson. Wonder Why – holds many of the original exhibits from the earliest days of the museum. Energy Quest – explores different energy types and the technologies to harness these. Wildlife Challenge is a seasonal outdoor exhibit in which guests can take part in a variety of physical activities, designed to simulate different animals' environments. Activities include balance beams, and a zip line accessible only to guests that can hold on to a rope for at least 10 seconds. 
Rubik's Cube Exhibition, Beyond Rubik's Cube opened to the public on April 26, 2014 and has toured to other museums around the world. The exhibition celebrates the Cube's 40th anniversary, and features artifacts and exhibits that trace the history of the Cube and mark the massive cultural influence it continues to have on popular culture today. Traveling exhibitions, various temporary exhibits The first exhibit since the center reopened was Islamic Science Rediscovered. Goosebumps. The science of fear let guests see how they would react when they were exposed to creepy animals, loud noises, electric shock and the fear of falling. The exhibit explored why their bodies react the way they do. Mammoths and Mastodons, Titans of the Ice Age", used video installations, hands-on interactive displays, life-sized models and fossils to teach more about the extinct mammals. The exhibit showcased Lyuba, the world's best preserved woolly mammoth specimen. Titanic, the artifact exhibition featured over 100 authentic artifacts from the Titanic, which were set within replicas of cabins and other areas of the ship. The exhibit also allowed visitors to touch an iceberg to simulate how cold the water was when the ship sank. Jennifer Chalstey Center for Science Learning and Teaching In July 2007, the Jennifer Chalstey Center for Science Learning and Teaching opened. It is a 20,000 square foot, 1,900 square meters facility extending over the entire former invention floor of Liberty Science Center with six laboratories, a 150-seat theater, and other resources for teachers and students. Educators can upgrade science teaching skills and find peers to help strengthen science instruction in the classroom, while students can participate in intense, multi-day or single-hour programs to ignite interest and skills in science exploration. <laughs> Genius Award and Gallery The LSC hosts an annual Gala and Genius Award as well as Genius Gallery, a permanent, interactive display. The full list of awardees 2011, Jane Goodall 2012, Temple Grandin, Erno Rubik, Oliver Sachs 2013, Sir Richard Branson, Gary Kasparov, Corey Bargman 2014, Dean Carmen, Sylvia A. Earl, J. Craig Venter 2015, Jeff Bezos, Vince F., Jill Tata 2016, Frank Gehry, Jack Horner, Ellen Langer, Kip Thorne 2017, Catherine Johnson, Ray Kurzweil, Mark Rybert and Spart Mini 2018, Vitalik Buterin, George M. Church, Laurie Santos, Sara Seeger. Topic: SciTech City Proposal. LSC is in negotiation with Jersey City to receive for a nominal fee city-owned land a former car pound which would be developed as an educational and residential area called SciTech City. SciTech City is expected to attract top scientists and researchers from around the world, while also educating Jersey City's next generation of leaders in this field. This new project will include a biotech lab, a coding lab, a technology business incubator, and a K-12 STEM-focused public school. <laughs> 